Good morning everyone. In today's assignment you will need the capital letters book, colors and shapes and the little explorer. Okay children, take out your little explorer book and turn to page 16 and 17. Now what do we see in the picture? We see a beautiful big house, isn't it? Now today we are going to learn different parts of your home and the places around your house okay now everybody everything here has a name so today you're going to learn the names of different parts of your house and places around it now see here children the top portion of your house is called as roof what is this roof and this is the wall. What is this called as? Wall. And what are these? I am sure every house has this. What is this called as? It's a window. You open the window so the sunlight and fresh air comes in. Isn't it? What are these called as? Windows. And see? What is this green area called as in front of the house? Yes, it's a lawn. What is this? Lawn. Now what is this called as? Door. What is this? Door. Every house has a door, right? And this area which is leading towards the house is called as path. This area is called as path. This is a car. And the place where you park the car is called as garage. The place where you park the car is called as garage. Now, let's look at the places around the home. There's a big tree here. What is this called as? Tree. And then, this is a nest. What is this? Nest. Nest is the place where the birds lay their eggs. And this is called as fence. What is this? Fence. And the area in front of the fence is called as pavement. What is this? Pavement. Now take out your capital letters book and be ready to write the letter C. Which letter are we going to write? C. Start from the red dot and move towards the direction of the arrow like this. You are going to write a curve like this. Okay. Parents, if you feel the child needs more practice, let them first practice on this and then move towards the four line. C for cat, C for cap, C for cat, C for cap. Shall we start tracing on the four line? Start with the pink line from the black dot. And join the dots carefully. You need to make a curve like this. And when the dot ends, you stop writing. One more time. What is this letter? Every time you are writing the letter, repeat the name of the letter. What is the name? C. 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 Once you finish this line, We'll move to the next line. Parents, if you feel they are not able to differentiate, you can put the dots for two more lines like this to make it easy for them. Just two more lines and then I think they'll be able to do it on their own. See from where it starts and where it ends. Start from the pink line and touch the blue line. Start from the pink line and touch the blue line. See. C, C. Parents, at this point of time, it's very important to emphasize the pink line and the blue line. Okay, or else they might be, you know, starting from here and end till here. We need to emphasize every time to look at the colors of the line. Once you finish this page, you'll go to the next page and finish the writing. After that, we'll move to this activity. You have to trace the letter C to complete 
each word color the pictures with crayons okay start tracing the letter c what is this it's a cap c a p cap c a p cap trace the letter c a r car c a r car c a r car c u p cup c u p cup c o c k cock c o c k cock once you finish reading and writing the letter c then you can color them with your favorite colors that's it for today's assignment thank you bye bye